Hello there, welcome to Top Channel 101. So today I want to show you how to make a character walking in water using the Blender Fluid sim Simulation System. So this is what we are going to do and uh, basically this is our setup. So you can see we have uh, the character, we have the water and we have the domain containing the water. Uh, so let's open up a new Blend file and uh, I'm just going to copy the character and the amateur so that we have that already set but uh, you can always find uh, the character on Mixamo or anywhere else that or just grab any character that is rigged and animated uh, like this you don't really have to do much to the rig uh, let me just turn on random colors here yeah so this is what we have and uh, so uh, first thing we want to do is set up our domain. So our domain is just going to be a container for our water simulation. So let's have that. I'm just going to make it long uh, so our character can walk inside, can walk a good distance uh, within that uh, water. And uh, then I can make this, uh, go to the physics tab, make this a uh, fluid object and the type is going to be the domain because we want it to contain our fluids. Uh, we want the type to change to liquid uh, because we, that's what we're going to be simulating and uh, for the most part that's going to be enough. Uh, then we can duplicate this. I'm just going to duplicate this and uh, remove uh, the fluid, add it uh, back and then use this as the flow and change the flow type uh, to liquid and uh, we can leave the behavior to geometry. Uh, this is basically going to be our fluid. Now I'm just going to scale it uh, as uh, the size of the domain or the size of the fluid just slightly. Okay, if you hit play, nothing will happen uh, because you need to make sure that uh, if you're going to use this uh, object as the fluid uh, under flow type, flow source, you want to make sure that this is set to is planner, otherwise, it will not uh, show, it will not play. And let me see what, uh, what else. And uh, after you do that, uh, you need to go back to the domain and change any settings he here to uh, to basically reset the domain uh, for the new settings we have set uh, to work. And I can already see that uh, we have uh, the fluids and uh, the character is interacting with the fluid. Uh, the reason why the character is interacting with the fluid is because I already I just copied it from uh, this project and uh, that character had su some settings already. So basically, if you want the character to interact with the fluid, I, let me first get rid of this, the settings. You see, right now he's not really interacting with the fluid at all. Uh, if you want to have him interact, make sure you select the character's mesh, um, give it a fluid type, and make sure the type is effector and uh, that is going to be enough. Uh, so if we reset the simulation by playing back here, yeah, you need to go back to the first frame and uh, you can see now we have uh, the fluids are the character interacting with the fluid. Now, the issue we're having is that uh, our resolution, fluid resolution is very low. That's why you don't see a lot of interactions. So let's double this or let's set it to something like 120 and uh, play back. You can see now we have enough fluids and uh, the character is already interacting. That's all you have to do. Uh, basically, just set up the domain, have a uh, fluid uh, or a flow object in, in your geometry and then and the character has to be an effector object. Uh, let me reduce the resolution here so that uh, we can mesh this and see the results clearly. I'm going to scroll down to uh, to what is it called? Uh, to I think it's under settings. No, no, no. Yeah, it's under liquid uh, mesh so that we can see uh, the final mesh of the fluid can see uh, the water is interacting and uh, uh, this is also going to depend on the resolution. Uh, the higher the resolution, uh, the better the fluid is going to look but it's also going to be very heavy on your computer. Let me first hide this so that I can see. You can see as the character walks through the water, we start to see uh, some ripples. Yeah, very, very easy setup. Now we just have to set up the materials. Uh, one thing, just to uh, as a reminder, make sure that uh, the object flow is set to is planner. Otherwise, uh, it won't show for some reason. I'm not sure why, but uh, it, uh, in my test, it's, it has not shown. If you want to bake the fluids, right now the cache type is set to uh, replay. If you want to bake the fluids, just go to all, go under cache and set the type to all, and then you can bake 
uh, the fluids. Uh, if you want particles and uh, others, you, other things can go to the particles and uh, bake that as well. But uh, it's also going to increase on the time it takes for the for the bake uh, to finish. Uh, let's just wait for this to bake to uh, about one si about sixty, and uh, then I'll preview that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, there is a new pro product uh, called Aqua Aquatic. Uh, an amazing add-on uh, for fake water simulations. Uh, is if you are if you are into ArcVis, uh, this is an amazing add-on. You can basically uh, create fountains with a few clicks. You don't even have to simulate anything. Uh, you can see it looks super realistic and uh, yeah, effective. Effectively, just cutting down the time you have to do this. So this add-on just uh, is by Botanic. Are uh, the guys that brought you? Uh, vegetation and material stuff uh, and material library so yeah you can use it to make uh whatever you're seeing here basically it's, it's an amazing add-on and uh yeah i can also see how it was used to create this beach wave uh, which is simply amazing so if you want to cheat and uh, uh speed up your workflow with uh, without putting in a lot of work, but uh, achieving great results. This is an amazing add-on. Link is going to be provided in the description. Anyway, let's see how this has gone, how far this has gone. Okay, let's play back. Yeah. And that the faster your character walks, uh, the, the 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 more flashes you're going to splashes you're going to get. So let me first reduce the resolution here at something like uh, sixty and just speed up. Uh, the character movement a bit just to show you what i mean i'm also going to change uh, the catcher back to uh to replay uh, maybe remove uh, the meshing and if you want to increase the volume of uh, the fluid just scale up the the liquid and uh, just make sure that is inside uh, the the domain and on outside and you might also want to uh, change the resolution so you can see if you want bubbles you can add bubbles you just go under uh, particles you can add spray form and bubbles and make sure you check in the export combine export you can check what you want to export I can check all of that and, uh, and make sure you reset any value here and you can see now we have spray we have form it's yeah everything but uh, that's also going to increase your computation power so make sure that uh, your pc can handle that anyway thank you for watching see you in the next video